I know this is a really quick video just for Power Pack users. Today they release version 1.1.6 and it brings a couple of features which I just wanted to show you. The first one relates to something I did a video on earlier which is the content grid and what's changed about it is they, they've now added WooCommerce and Easy Digital Download support which means we can now use this flexible content grid with Carousel to display our products and it does what you would expect it to do it allows us to choose whether we have the images titles descriptions pricing and add to cart buttons and all that and it's pretty easy to use I mean I'll just quickly show you that it's you just need to get the products forward you just need to go over to the content and where you would usually choose what post type it is we've got now the option to add in products and of course this would vary depending on what you use if you use custom post types they're going to show there as well so that pretty much covers that you can go and check this all out for yourself I just made these quick demos so you could go over to my site the links below and mess around with it yourself so you just need to come to this site try demo and then head over to content modules content grid and go over to the WooCommerce tab over here so let's move on to the next thing which I, I guess I like the most really which is the back-end improvements um, so if we're in the back end and we go to settings and power pack we've now got all our well nearly all of our settings our modules are still in the usual place but we've got these extra settings to turn off virtually everything we want so last time on the last release they released the row templates and they were just in grayscale there now there's the same row templates but in colored versions primarily they're using the color blue but i've turned that on so if you're looking in the demo you can just see what they look like and as before you can turn all of those off now we can also turn off these other extensions so let me just go over here so i can show you what we're talking about so when we turn on power pack or when we did before we've got all of these extra extensions to uh, Beaver Builder's normal interface. Now it could be confusing if you're not going to use these uh, separator effects or drop down rows or that kind of stuff. Well now we can just clear that up which is, is great. We can just turn on and off what we like or not even have the, the quick preview button if we don't want that. And finally uh, page templates. These came out in the last release and uh, they were there and they still are. Uh, if you go over to templates you can find these templates under the power pack ones and they are all here but they're all here now because I've turned them on in the back end I've activated them so these are I think set to deactivate naturally so you can come in and turn on only what you need and on the last release it was a bit more awkward to see them as they were designed to be to get the typography we needed to go into the customizer and select the presets to see all the correct color in and typography but now we just have to click a preview button and we see how it was designed to be so we can set it up or at least know what we're working with from the beginning so i think that's great so we're seeing it as it should be and i think that really much covers my uh, video on this uh, i think it's a really great release thank you to puni and their team for putting in the hard work on this and for listening and also it's been a nice week for me because i did my first interview and it was with puni it was his first interview too so if you haven't seen this already want to check it out there's the pair of us really i guess making fools of ourselves but it was fun to do and uh that's it really i'll catch you on the next video hope there was something useful here